Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to learn one of the interesting concepts in Unix and that is nothing but ULimit. ULimit stands for user limit or resource limit. We will see the details about the ULimit. ULimit is the number of open file descriptor per process. Assume that you are working on one program and that program opened several files in your system or in your program. During such execution, opening n number of files will lead to the resource constraint and your system will crash. So in order to avoid such incidents, pro, uh, Unix or ULimit help us to handle it in better way or in programmatically. So that if there is a resource limit constraint and your program is using more resources it will if the limit is exceeded then your program will stop working so rather than crashing your system we are going to stop your program to work of course we can increase this limit we can make it unlimited also so it can use as many as possible it is a method for restricting the amount of various resources a process can consume some processes might consume less number of resources some process might consume more number of processes what happens uh, once the resource is used it might get released to make it reusable or the other program can use however sometimes the pro some processes are very robust and they, they acquire many resources so there should be a control on usage of resources and the ULimit comes into the picture for that. If we reach to limit of open file then we get the error message it looks like too many files open. This message is coming from Unix it's not coming from any other program so so whenever we get this message your program will not have any control to fix this. The one way we can control is uh, we can increase the limit and the second way is we can tune our program such a way that it will not open many files or it will not consume many resources there could be a case where your program need to use many resources in that case we do, we have to increase the u limit in such case we need to increase the limit value for u limit parameter we'll see how to use this parameter how to increase the value of this parameter. The, the command it's very simple start with u limit and then hyphen a will provide the all limit values. So let me show you here this is my Unix console using u limit this is the command and just enter. So if you see the u limit when I press u limit and enter it gives me answer unlimited. So this value water I am able to see unlimited it is for the given user what are the user I have used to log into Unix that user has unlimited value. If you want to see the all the values which are associated with U limit you have to just press U limit hyphen A and it will give the list of all the resources defined so far core file size is 0 data segment size is unlimited scheduling priority 0 file size is unlimited, pending signals 18553, maximum locked memory 64, maximum memory size unlimited, open files you can see the 32,000, pipe size 8 and there are some, some other parameters. So you can see these values when you just press U limit A. There is one more command which is I already mentioned in my PPA and that is ls off. What this command gives us? ls off if you just type this command let me do ls off it will give us a huge number of list of parameter it provides the all the values which are currently being used like pipe or if you want to see the memory the rage file input file output directory etc so it gives the list of the all the parameters getting used in your program that is the use of the ls off ls is very rarely used 
but uh, the U limit is more commonly used. U limit options are hyphen A to list all the current resource limit, hyphen C specify the size of core dumps in number, hyphen D specify the size of data area, hyphen F maximum size of file written by the shell and its children. This value can be unlimited. Hyphen capital H specifies that the hard limit for the given resource is set. Hyphen M specifies the size of physical memory. It can be unlimited. Hyphen N maximum number of open file descriptor. Threshold value is 64,000. Hyphen S it is maximum stack size. Hyphen capital S specifies that the SOP limit for the given resource is a set. Hyphen T maximum amount of CPU time in seconds. This value can be unlimited. Hyphen U the maximum number of processes available to single user. The maximum value is 64,000. Hyphen V the size of virtual memory. Out of these various options we have just seen one option that is hyphen A. Let's see some other options. Before that let me clear the screen. U limit hyphen T. So this T parameter if you go back and see it's it is a for maximum amount of CPU time in second and the va actual value is unlimited. If you, if you want to see the other parameter like hyphen S it will give the 1892 and what does this value stand for? It is value for maximum stack size. So the current stack size is 8192. Similarly you can run the other options and you can do the practice. Let me do one more time the hyphen u and we'll see this is the last uh, um, example we'll do hyphen u it will tell us the value 4096 if you go back and you see the hyphen a for the all values you can compare this value 8192 you can see 8192 that is the stack size hyphen u you can see uh, here is the hyphen u 4096 uh, that is maximum user processes the options here you can see that like hyphen c will give the the score file size here this option here mentioned hyphen d hyphen e for the case of stack size hyphen s it is 8192 what are the values it's nothing but the kilobytes hyphen u it is just a limit value that is not in byte or any other uh, kilobyte values uh, the file size is uh, minus hyphen f which will give them the blocks so similarly these options are also listed so you don't have to remember this value you have to just press you limit hyphen a you will get the options you can choose any of that option let's see for the details some more details about the u limit what is a hard limit and soft limit so we just saw the u limit that is user limit or the resource limit it comes with the two concepts called as hard limit and soft limit. A hard limit can be raised by root user or super user. So it is useful for security. A non-root process cannot overstep a hard limit. Hard limit is something we cannot exceed beyond that value otherwise your system will crash. But it's an inconvenient in that a non-root user process can't have a lower limit than its child children. A soft limit can be changed by a process at any time. Suppose I'm a user of Unix, I can change the soft limit, but I cannot change a hard limit if I'm not a root or super user. So it's a convenient <coughs> as long as process incorporate, but no good for security <coughs> for example for a sub limit to disable code dumps you limit hyphen s c and zero it will change the value to zero while keeping the option for enabling for a specific process we are debugging you limit sc unlimited my process so you can change the value using sc option the u limit shell command is a wrapper around the set r limit system call so that's why uh, where you will find the de definitive documentation 
so if you see the documentation for set a limit you will give the you will get idea about hard limit setting and the soft limit setting a hard limit is a maximum allowed to a user set by the super user or root user this value is set in the file called as etc security limit.com so limits.com is a file where you can manually edit this file and set the values think of it's an upper bound or selling or roof beyond which you cannot go on other hand the soft limit is the effective value right now for that user the user can increase the soft limit value as per their need but it cannot go beyond the hard limit value how to list u limit current size you have to just use the u limit hyphen n if i go here if you see the the option you will not see, uh, you will see the for current user how many files are assigned so open files are 32000 u limit hyphen u oh sorry hyphen n u limit hyphen n so these are the currently assigned means my user can open 32000 files during program execution this is the soft limit how to increase this limit you have to use u limit hyphen n and give any value let me give that value u limit hyphen n and suppose i'm increasing this value so this required uh, my user do not have permission to increase this value so i have to log in as a root user and then and then i'll be able to change this value i do not have permission to change this value because this is very temporary user can us can a user change the default op limit yes putting uh, a u limit command in their shell startup this is pro typically in dot bash rc or dot bash profile or dot profile file user can change if user want to change hop limit for stack size to some value like 6553 they can put this there in the login startup file we can try this here hyphen capital s and small s because we are going to change the soft limit hyphen n will change the what are the command we tried this is for the hard limit for the soft limit we can use this six five five three five okay so let me i might have missed the capital s hyphen sign yeah u limit let me clear it u limit capital s small s six five five three five so this value is set so if you do the u limit hyphen n uh sorry u limit hyphen u mm, let me see So stack size. Uh, so change the value of stack size. So it, so you can change the stack size value with this s. So s will change the stack size. Uh, let me change n value. You limit. Funny s hyphen n six five five three five. Okay. So it's not allowing me to op to increase the file limit. Uh, because it has a um, this is invalid constraint but at least we can increase the stack size which is the sub limit if it is a script which is running out of cron user can also put this statement at the start of the shell script to increase the sub limit how to change the default sub limit and the and hard limit for user of course we have to use a super user and they can go to the security uh, it is a security folder and change the parameters in the limit.conf we and update the hard limit in order to uh, of course we need the super user but we can still view this hard limit u limit hn 
let me clear this you limit hyphen h for hard limit and n for seeing the values and currently this set to the 63000 let me go to cd etc security and there you will find the limits gone let me we add this limits dot con and you can see the various parameters in this file and few of the parameters we have to update is the here you can provide the the u limit value and that value will be uh, assigned so currently you can see the soft limit is 32,000 hard limit is 62,000 you can change this value if you have the permission so if I try to change it, it gives me a warning saying that changing a read only file so it will not change because i do not have that permission then so let's see some more couple of things um, if you want to update soft limit you have to use ascent to increase the soft limit or you can ch directly change in this limit.conf value by adding this value so let me do change this value soft limit uh, first i will print the what is soft limit you limit that is right now it is 65 if i use the your limit hyphen and these are the open number of files let me use the limit hyphen soft n and change this value to 65535 it is uh, again um, let me see it should not throw that error you limit hyphen capital s yes. Oh, okay I will look into that but uh, it should give actually it should set the actual value that's fine um, so these are the couple of things um, we can but better way to change the values in this limit.com and uh, it is a best practice Unix administrator change this value rather than any normal user so these are the couple of things about the U limit I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or queries about Unix then you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice time.